Hello everybody, I'm back with another quick Daz tutorial. This one's about using um, shaders to achieve some different effects on our models. And uh, in this one I've already got my scene set up and my camera ready to go. And I've actually already got this one in iRay view so you can kind of see what it looks like before we kind of play with the shaders a little bit. Um, I've got my um, primitive uh, with an emissive texture set up here just like I did in my first video. Um, if you haven't seen that one yet I'll, I'll link to it down below so you can check it out to see how we use a primitive as a lighting source which is my favorite method of lighting a scene. And I've got my camera set up and my model all set up and ready to go. So the model that I'm using for this one is Ico 8 and um, we are, uh, she's a kind of kind of based on like an anime model so I'm going to show you a way that we can make her look even more anime like and um, I'm using two uh, shader products in this video now I'll go ahead and show you the ones that I'm using um, the first one is visual style shaders uh, and the second one is sparkle shaders for iRay both of these are available in the Daz 3D store at uh, daz3d.com to search for sparkle shaders or visual style shaders and you'll be able to find those. So uh, we're going to try the visual style shader first and that's going to give Ico uh, more, more of an anime look, like a really kind of flat matte texture. Um, so I'm really bad at organizing my content so I've got mine all in some really strange places. Uh, yours might be a little bit better organized than mine is, but uh, I've got mine over here in my content library. Uh, the other place to find shaders is the same uh, place that we did the emissive textures uh, in my earlier tutorial, which is over in surfaces and presets. So there are lots of different shaders over here that you can play with. Uh, Daz 3D comes with a lot of them built in. Of course, you can use third-party shaders or extra add-on shaders. Um, through the uh, through the Daz shop or through other uh, third-party vendors. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, select Ico just by doing a double click. Um, so whenever you apply textures, uh, we're first going to go to our Surfaces tab, oops, and then to Editor. And this is very very important. You have to make sure that the model that you're uh, texturing uh, or that you're um, um, applying the shader to is selected over here in the uh, in the editor section of the surfaces tab otherwise the texture will not work so that part's really tricky if you're trying to apply a texture and it's not working check that because you probably don't have your model selected again it has to be surfaces tab and then editor tab have to have it selected there um, from there you can either go to your presets and just select one of these I'll actually show you a couple of these really quick because these I almost never use these but they're just really fun to play around with though so like I can go to let's do liquids and let's turn I go into water we'll see what that looks like so you can get some really strange and interesting effects that way uh, you can do some really cool stuff um, but at any rate, like I said, it's kind of fun to play around with and get some, some different neat effects that way. But, um, and actually, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select skin, lips, nails um, when we do this one. And that will, just like it says, it's going to affect her skin, her lips, and her uh, fingernails and toenails. So let's go to content library, and I've got my... Uh, shaders there we go and visual style shaders is what I'm looking for and first of all we're gonna do our hair because our hair first of all is far too realistic looking so um, we're gonna select that and then again be sure you select it over here under the editor on surfaces tab and then we can basically pick any one of these uh, shaders to apply to our hair um, I'm a big fan of purple hair purple is my favorite color so let's see what it looks like with uh, a good mid purple. There we go. So already it's kind of looking like more of a drawn uh, anime effect. Uh, let's try the dark purple, or even see what that looks like. I think I like that one even better. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead with a lighter one, just because I can see the uh, waves and the lines in her hair a little bit better that way. All right, then we're gonna select Ico. Again, uh, we're gonna select skin, lips, and nails. And I'm going to go down to visual skin and we'll go ahead and do a tan skin. I was playing around with this earlier and that one seemed to give me the 
best effect. I've tried uh, visual skin, uh, pink and peach, and they made her look like a ghost. They were way too bright. So I'm going to try, I could probably play with the settings a little bit, but I was going to go ahead and try tan because that gave me the best look out of the box. There we go. And again, immediately just kind of like a flat matte texture, like it's still got some definition to it, but definitely, look, definitely looks like a drawn uh, uh, anime style uh, drawing or a model. Um, so the last thing that we're going to do is her dress, and I've got some different textures for this one. This is where I'm going to use the sparkle shaders. So I'm going to go ahead and select her dress, and again, select it under Editor on the Surfaces tab. And I'm going to go to Shader Presets is where I have these stored. Again, yours may be in a different place, so you'll just kind of have to mess around with it and find where yours are. And I really like the sequins on this one. And this one has some nice, like, blended colors, so we'll try a couple of these and see what they look like. Uh, I like that one a lot. But, again, we have lots of different options that we could go with. And uh, this is a good way to expand your wardrobe options, because some of the uh, clothings come with very, very limited uh, materials. But if you've got shaders, then you can just exponentially uh, increase the different looks that you can give your clothing and you're not limited to just the materials that come with them. Uh, let's try that one. I kind of like how that kind of blue uh, contrasts with her, her purple hair. So we'll go ahead and leave that one there for right now. Yeah, I like that. All right, and on my um, render settings, um, of course, I've got under environment, um, I've got it set to scene only. And let me go ahead and make sure my uh, headlamp is off. That's always good to do. I'm pretty sure I've got it set off, but there we go. Yeah, it's the same. And um, I've got this set up with a really nice height. I'm using the um, um, uh, golden ratio portrait uh, preset. I like to use that whenever I'm using my single models. And I've got my height set to 2160, uh, which is the same thing that you would use. Uh, that's the same height as for Ultra HD. So that'll give us a nice, uh, good view of our model. If you have a decent video card, this should still render in just about three or four minutes. So a really quick render on this one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the render button. And in a couple of minutes, we'll check this one out and see what she looks like.